Let's go. Basketball. We love that basketball. Ow! Basketball. We love that basketball. Hey, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, y'all. Welcome to the Mental House Sports with me, the sports edition with me. Y'all already know your host, Khadija. Okay, I know what everybody wants to talk about, what is on the top of everybody's mouth, what's in their mouth and in their heart. Um, was the game yesterday between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Boston Celtics. So I want to know what y'all think about the new um, revamped, <laughs> retooled and fueled Cleveland Cavaliers. Who was my team at the beginning of the year, even with the old heads that they had? Um, I really do love Derrick Rose, and I think Derrick Rose got a lot of basketball left in him, as I said before. And I think that what is Derrick Rose's problem is he's got a mental problem. Um, and I don't, I'm not saying that in any kind of derogatory uh, 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 way, other than emotional. I mean, let's just face it: a lot of us, and most of us, I'm not gonna say a lot of us, most of us. Uh, that are coming from these uh, impoverished, shell-shocked areas. We haven't learned how to master the skill of doing a lot of things emotionally. Okay, I, We didn't get a lot of work in that area. In fact, LeBron is probably one of the biggest uh, immature or probably biggest mental cases you'll probably see but you'll never hear about it of course Derrick Rose is a different pup and um, you know he wears his heart on his sleeve so I've been hearing also rumors that he's thinking about retiring I hope that Tom Thibodeau over there in Minnesota up there in Minnesota my neighbor to the north I hope that they decide to reunite with Derrick Rose I really do and give him one last go around. And if you fall, falter, man, and you hurt, and you really can't do it, then it's okay. But I believe you, he played so long, worked himself to get in such a good, some kind of ball playing shape, that it was just a mental thing. I think that LeBron really hurt his confidence when he was more or less, I don't give a damn if you come back here and play or not. Um, and for a person like Derrick Rose, you know, that wasn't a good look anyway. As far as I'm concerned. Just my opinion. Uh, so what I would hope. Is that he gets to get refueled. And not in Utah. But if that's what it takes. You know. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. You a ball player. You don't know how to do nothing else. You know what happened with them SATs. And all that stuff. So let's just keep it real. Play ball. Don't. You know. Now if it's the spotlight that you don't want to have no more. Don't stay away from it. Don't look forward. You never look was the kind of look forward anyway. But you know now that they don't want you and you're not their darling boy anymore. It should give you more time. This message is particularly to Derrick Rose. I know I'm a little off. But because I love Derrick Rose, I like his game. Uh, I like what he represents. You know, and from the being from the shy, which is really my neighbor, I uh I'm familiar with where he grew up and how he grew up. So I just would hope, along with all the rest of those ballers in this, from the south side of Chicago, where it's rough. Right, Isaiah? Um, I think Isaiah from the west side, though. Yeah, I think he west side. But anyway, uh, Dwayne Wade, south side. That's why he plays so hard with such tenacity. Another thing, I'm glad Dwayne had a chance to go back home. But what do y'all think? Give me your opinion about this refueled uh, Cleveland Cavaliers basketball team. And also let me know what y'all think about Derrick Rose. Y'all think he done? You think that he shouldn't um, even play anymore? Because I don't. I think Derrick Rose got ball left in him. I think he got to get his mind right. 
And I'm going to tell you something. You need to go back and play basketball because right now, Derek, um, you need to believe in yourself again. You got an opportunity. So that's just how I feel about it. Only you know what's best for you and your family. So, again, y'all leave y'all comments below. Tell me what y'all think about the game. And tell me also what you think about LeBron going to hug Kyrie after that game. Like, mmm, you know we you fucked up, don't you? <laughs> you know I'm going to kick your ass from here on out, don't you? <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think about that, okay? Like what you hear. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to see you next time in the Mental Health Sports Edition. Bye, y'all. <laughs>